Hi, I'm Nick Saviano, and I wanted to go over something very special that happened yesterday, and that was Tiger Woods winning his 15th major title in golf. Now you say, why would I want to talk about golf? The reason I do that is whenever you see or hear people that have achieved greatness, it doesn't matter in what athletic field or even if it's in the arts or in academia, it doesn't matter. It could even be in business. There are certain fundamental truths that come through. Now, what I want to speak about with regards to Tiger Woods are two key areas. Now, I've picked them out of many areas, but these two for me stand out. Number one is his use of the word discipline, and then the second was when he went over certain things about what he did on the golf course and how it in fact involved visualization. So I'll break this talk up into two parts and the first is discipline. When he's talking about discipline and hitting certain shots and going say conservatively in one direction because he didn't want to be distracted, he said, by others that were having phenomenal rounds and they were shooting a 64, which is an amazing round in golf. Or they were getting hot for a few holes and they were hitting birdies. He didn't want to get distracted by that. And so he said, I must remain disciplined and focused on what I can do. The significance of this is what he is telling you is one of the most fundamentally important principles of competing on the court and competing in life. He's actually telling you, I'm going to focus only on that which I can control. He knew he couldn't control the outcome. In fact, he said about three or four times how on the back nine, that's the last nine holes of the golf course, there are so many different scenarios that could have happened. What he's saying is that there were so many different people and different things that could have happened which would have caused him not to win, that he could not control. And he was able to overcome the desire to get distracted by winning and to stay focused and, quote, disciplined, to stay zeroed in on what he can control and not focus on the things he can't. Now, for many of you who know his story, we could talk about the determination he has shown to come back from a lot of adversity. It's been 10 years since he won a major. For him to do this was all incredible. But the discipline he showed, most importantly, to be able to let go of trying to guarantee the outcome and to get totally and completely absorbed in doing what he can do to the best of his ability and to be at peace and be comfortable with the fact that he cannot guarantee the outcome enabled him to perform at the best level he has performed in years. And if you go back and see the clips of him speaking in the press conference, you see these incredibly important secrets to greatness. And he's saying it right there for people. Sometimes it's a little bit masked and people miss the message. So when we're out there competing on the tennis court, uh, because tennis is a better sport than golf, um, or in anything else, Understanding that principle is one of the fundamental keys to success.
let's learn from some of the lessons that Tiger Woods has learned in his journey to becoming one of the true all-time greats. Nick Saviano, all the best.